Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a Christmas card to share with you. I'm featuring tons of Hello Bluebird products in this card. Um, I actually made it, this card kind of a while ago, actually the moment I got these products. Uh, but well, I didn't came to um, doing the video, the voiceover and such. And since this is not one of my design teams, it just got pushed back on, on the to-do list um, so well. We're catching up. Um, I have December post sent by Hello Bluebird Holiday Littles. The post is frame and the candy cane lane that I'm featuring today uh, for this card. Uh, tons of products. Uh, it is, well, does this card still um, classify as clean and simple? I don't really know. It's not a scene, but there is kind of a lot going on. Uh, so you decide. Uh, coloring wise, really simple and using the same reds all over and a few greens. Um, everything, of course, as always, is listed on my blog post. These images are so adorable. Hello Bluebird is so adorable. Um, and I don't know about you, things have changed uh, at Hello Bluebird. They now do kits. Um, and so you have to decide whether you want everything or nothing. Um, well, every company has to decide for his or her own what is working and what not. I love Hello Bluebird, so I will definitely still get some kits. Um, uh, actually, the one that is coming to me is the Autumn Kit. I have no clue whether I will be able to create with it. Even this year, I, I truly have no clue. Uh, the amount of card making is so limited since I've had my little girl and I'm not sad about it. Um, it's just something that happens and um, it's not because of her necessarily because, well, there are moments that I could maybe make a card, but either I'm tired or I just want to watch her, and well, I'm just, I'm just taking everything in, and she's adorable, and I'm just, I'm addicted, <laughs> uh, so that's why. Um, and from time to time, I have some time to make cards and you still get to see some cards. Most of the time they are digital stamps because those are my design teams for the moment. Um, and they are just priority. Uh, but I will still create. I have Hello Bluebird. I also am in love with some of the Mama Elephant releases. Um, so far, I haven't gotten anything uh, from them. Uh, I'm trying to limit it since I don't know whether I will be able to create with them. But how amazing was their Christmas release? Actually, every year this September release by Mama Elephant is spectacular. Um, I also love all of the design team uh, inspiration, like Peggy. She is one of the newest members, well, already months, uh, but she is so talented and she's such an inspiration and she knows how to add those white jelly roll pen details, truly. Um, today also I try to add a few, you will see them, yes, yes. Um, <laughs> But some people are just spectacular with adding white jelly roll pen details. It just makes those images so much cuter even. And I'm just not able. Um, I'm just trying something. I'm adding a few and then I think, well, isn't it too much? And then, no, it's too little. And there is always this doubt <laughs> in my mind. But well, let's just uh, go ahead with the rest. Um, so I'm coloring here a combination on my blog post, as I already mentioned, uh, but really simple coloring. Also the browns, as you can see here, the reindeer, but also the belt of our Santa is going with it. I have several sentiments. Those will be the sentiments on my card. Um, the lovely thing about this postage uh, die, also other brands have came out with their own posted dies and such it's really lovely i'm not trying to buy each postage die by every brand i'm going to try to limit myself to this one maybe another one still still well still figuring that out but um the lovely thing about these dies these kind of dies is that you can decide whether you want to keep everything together or whether you want to snip them apart you want to keep them by three four depending on which die you have that's all up to you and endless possibilities again. Today, for this card, actually, I originally wanted to keep everything together. And then I snipped them apart in, well, three. And um, then I wasn't sure whether it was going to fit with my design. And then I thought of snipping all of them apart. And, 
well, I could have. I didn't in the end and I'm happy with how it turned out, but it gives you so many possibilities to really just enjoy the process, I would say. Okay, so here for the Yeti, I actually had no clue how to color it, but I'm really glad with how it came out. It's a bit muted, but soft at the same time, and it's dark enough, but not too dark. Well, I'm happy with how it turned out. Now, uh, only a few items left also for the white areas, like the Yeti, the snowman. I just did some flicking with a really soft marker, and then I just let it go into that white area. But I wanted a bit of shadow, you know, not too much, but a bit. Um, here for the star, um, I always want this warm yellow kind of color. And I always add the yellow red 04, which is an orange. But just that as the darkest color and then blend out with yellows, it works great. Now onto our final image, the tree, which is really cute, really simple also. The amount of images in this uh, Holiday Littles stamp set, it gives you the possibility to really color tons of things or just a limited amount of things and also just adding like this tree to a postage. It's not a ton of, of work to color in, but it works. It fills it up um, and I really love it. So that's the coloring. Let's uh, now trim <laughs> our postages. Postage? Postages, postage stamps, well, you know what I mean. So I just took this uh, trimmer and, and I just trimmed them out. Um, really simple, but I wanted it to be straight, so that's why I used this and not scissors. You can use scissors as well. Um, anything goes truly, or like um, a craft knife. Yes, that can also be used. Uh, so here, as I said, I'm just going to snip it in three. Just making sure it is straight here and I'm happy. There we go. Um, here you can already see the layout that I had in my mind. Um, of course, I'm using one of my favorite pattern papers that so far have, have, has, have, have been discontinued. Unfortunately, still sad about it. But I'm still hoping that my favorite things is going to bring this back. So this one is like the Petite Kingdom, they prepared by my favorite things. Um, as I said, discontinued, but once they said that they were going to discontinue them, I just purchased a few more um, here and there. Uh, I did that. Um, also, the other colored paper that I'm using is the Wheat cardstock by Concorde 9, which is kind of um, like a craft cardstock color. Uh, and I used it for the frame, I also like the bow and well, let's say that this card isn't clean and simple because well, I got this really great compliment. Well, let me just um, give a bit of context. My mother, she's always a fan of my cards and I'm really grateful for it. Also another thing about my mother is that she has no tact. So if she doesn't like something, she will say it straight to your face without noticing that she is actually a bit rude, okay? Um, so don't be angry uh, with her, but I was at first. Um, I had this card finished and I wasn't sure about it because there is kind of a lot going on. Yes, I know, but it's also adorable. Um, so I showed it to her and she was like, oh, and I was like, what? And she was like, well, whew, it's heavy. Well, it's it's just it's a lot. <laughs> and um, well, I was I was amazed by her reaction and a bit sad and angry. I think you can understand it. But then afterwards, she said that it was really cute. All of the images, maybe a bit under the pressure of me, but well. Uh, so let's call it not clean and simple because normally she's like, oh, how lovely and. She doesn't sound like that, but just to let you know that someone else is speaking. <laughs> um, so um, in this case, she wasn't. So it's not a clean and simple card. But at the same time, I didn't make a scene. I used pattern paper. I used colored paper, which actually made makes it easier for me to create a card. You know? Also here, really, really handy to have this present seal. Uh, it's a thing that is holding the three st strips together. 
because I liked the layout that I had and I didn't want to lose that one. So I used present seal. I made sure to lift everything up together and then I still have this bow to add, which is really adorable. I zhuzhed it, like uh, Laura Besson would say, uh, a tiny bit. I have to give it some dimension on my card and then I'm just adding it to the corner. Really, really cute. I love this bow. Actually, it's one of the prettiest bows I have ever seen. I just used some, um, well, foam sheets, um, like in the center to be able to use it. And I overlapped it with two of the banners or the postage things. Uh, and then here I have my white jelly roll pen and I'm adding a few details. I'm really trying my best to, if I have these kind of cute little critters that aren't really realistic or anything like that, but adorable. I'm trying to add white jelly roll pen details because it just adds more to it, I think. So um, that's what I did. And then you have this card. I hope that you like the end result. And of course that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your patience. I know that I'm not sharing so much, but each time that I share something and I see you here, I'm so, so, so glad that you're still hanging uh, by my side here, watching and supporting me. Thank you so much. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll be back soon. Bye.